We've seen so many times we'll be sitting in our RV and we see this. Yeah, people. People looking. I don't know what they're looking at. People always have to put, I can defeat that. Yeah, you can. It reduces the chance. It gives a little bit of a bump for people not to steal these things. Do I suggest that for super valuable items? No, because this can easily be defeated. Hey guys, RV security is a huge topic and something really, really important that every RVer should be aware of. And we've done many videos. We've done firearm videos. We'll link our latest one up above. We also have done situational awareness videos. That was a couple of years ago. So we'll link that one up above. But this is going to be another other security videos one's a little bit different this is actual like hardware physical mm -hmm. hardware things that we have used that you may want to use just to harden up your RV security This is going to be a quick to the point video because that's how I like to do things. But before we get to that, guys, we want to ask you just go and check, make sure you're subscribed. We've had many subscribers reach out to us, tell us they've been unsubscribed without their knowledge. So just go back, make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell. We put out three to five videos a week. We want you guys to see our latest video. So let's get into this. So the first one is actually right behind me. I want you to put in the comments below, do you know what you're talking about? Put in the comments below right now. So it's going to be right here. And you might be like, wait, say that, that's glass. Twofold, number one, it's locked, right? So this seems so common, but we get a lot of people in our comments say, oh, we always leave a slider open when we talked about like getting locked out. We're out camping, there are picnic tables everywhere. You can see right across from us is a picnic table. There's one at our site. I can easily take the picnic table and let myself into here. So you always wanna lock your windows. But the second thing, the less obvious one, if you look, our windows are very dark and the shade is not down. Those are actually, we had our windows tinted for two reasons. Number one, I don't like people seeing in. Even on my personal cars, my work car, they're always tinted. I think it's, it's a security thing for me. I don't like people seeing in what I'm doing, what's in there. Second thing is that it actually helps prevent heat buildup. And if you following that up, if you look at the front of our windshield, this is a magnet shade and there's not a sponsor. We bought this, actually MJ bought this for my birthday. But you can see the magnet shade during the daylight, we don't have the shades down. It cuts down the heat significantly and you can't see inside. So if you pull back a little bit, you can see the lights see the right lights. now. At night, you can see a little bit more. And then you put the shade more, down. But yep. to me, that's a huge security thing. We've seen so many times we'll be sitting in our RV and we see this. this is, I, gotta, I gotta demonstrate. <laughs> okay. We see this. Yeah, people. People looking, looking. I don't and, know what they're looking people at. People are nosy. Look, they're nosy. we like to see RVs but, too. But, they, but I know yeah. they can't see in. So right, we, right. something's out, it's very difficult to see inside. That's really a security thing for us. The next item has to do with this area right here. So if you take a look, this is something that we just recently put on within the last year. This is Astrid. our RV lock, we right? We bought that it's, also. We did, and it's a keyless lock, so you don't have to carry keys. Now we had discussed a lot of people leave their windows open in case they get locked out. This kind of takes that off the plate because you don't have to worry, oh my God, we can't get into our RV. This, there's no double keys. So many RVs, they have keys that will fit many different RVs. This is not gonna happen with this. You have your own pin, you're able to get in and out. It's very well made. This is made in the USA, which we love to support US-based products. So this has been a godsend for us. And then moving right over here, we're talking about cameras. This is a ring camera. We get a lot of questions about this on our channel from the video that we actually did years ago. Years ago. So this has been wonderful. If you I'm, love it. I love it because I love cameras. I look at our cameras at home, you know, on outside. If we're off the RV, I'm watching the dogs in here. And this way I'm able to see if somebody comes to the door. My watch drives me crazy. There was a notification at your RV front door and it happens all the time. You know where it's useful is when the RV's in service. Because yeah, we can you see when they're act, working. It's like, oh, it's been laying there for three days, yeah. but you know when they, they go right, in because you start it getting the notifications. Yeah. So that's been great. And people ask us all the time, do you take it off when you travel? No, this has been here unless we have to charge it or something. Right. This has been here since we put it on years ago and it's held up through weather and everything. And it's just been great. The next thing you want to secure is the waste in your toilet. And that sounds a little funny. And it is funny because <laughs> this is the intro to our sponsor of this video. It's going to be liquefied from Matt's RV Reviews, which is a RV black tank treatment. You can see we're actually running a little bit low we on our are. liquid here. We are. But we do have a backup. We do. Matt's treatment, this, this is a fabulous treatment. It's going to liquefy your 
your waist, you're going to see, we're not going to go too much into it, but you'll see it coming out. We did. We did a video where we broke the whole thing down, literally and figuratively. Mm -hmm. So this is great. This is a US-based company right out in Indiana where this was manufactured. It comes in the the liquid form. He also has pods, which come in this container right here. Ooh, it smells good. I know. Can you open it? It really does. And then he also has a powder now. So there's all three forms that you can get of this. It comes in orange. I always say orange flavored. Also has lavender. So if you like the purple, or the orange you can get a choice I of think those. he has a toilet cleaner now also he's, he's every day he's coming out with new things so right. you want to keep your eyes on it what's awesome about matt that obviously he's a big influencer he supports other influencers he which does. is pretty awesome he but does. most importantly he puts out a good product and if you don't believe us because you think we're shills and we're getting paid somebody will say that <laughs> just go read the comments on amazon right like we're not leaving all those comments did, did you say amazon amazon <laughs> go leave the comments on, read the comments on amazon and you can see for yourself <laughs> try it out guys it's pretty inexpensive good and stuff. Uh, if you don't like it then don't buy it but want to pick up your liquefied we'll put our amazon link down below the next one we've talked about on a video probably a year and a half ago it's going to be protecting your catalytic converter now this is a big problem with motorhomes especially gas motorhomes class c's some b's definitely class a's because you see all that clearance we have on there it's catalytic converter theft that is a problem around the country i've personally been involved in several investigations where i work regarding these costing tens of thousands of dollars hundreds of thousands of dollars sometimes in theft it's very easy to take a catalytic converter probably in less than a minute if you're professionals and they just they just clean they'll go through a whole area and take 20 of them one thing that we've done we use a deterrent it's called a cat strap now the cat strap is a item that goes over the catalytic converter and it does listen it, nothing 100 prevents you from stealing something but it makes it more of an issue these people want to get in and out quickly the cat strap will slow that down and then we added what's called the die defender ah. i'm I, I see I don't want or think I'm hoping that somebody cuts it just to see the result of this I know but we don't have a camera there we I wouldn't know. be able to watch it the I need it in slow motion I need to see this awesome. happen I think this is even more effective than the cat strap so the die defender goes in conjunction with the cat strap and it's a pressurized steel braided line that has a permanent ink on it and when you cut it which you'll have to cut it to get at that cat you will get sprayed just blue ink now it's non-toxic I suggested pepper spray but the lawyers at cat strap didn't like that and then on top of that we also have a alarm that's a sensor on it so you're going to have this high pitch noise you just got sprayed <laughs> with blue ink and now you got to cut through the cat strap most people are just going to move on to the next one not 100 percent effective we'll always say that but if you want more information about the cat strap die defender we'll put the link down below now the next product is really important if god forbid your rv does happen to get stolen and this happens all the time out of service centers yep. out of rv parks maybe you have a seasonal yep. that's just there it especially, can happen anywhere especially towables yes and it, it gives you so much more security that we're going to talk about it's going to be a gps tracker now i do want to explain certain things you know when we did a video about gps trackers a lot of people said just use an air tag just use an air tag air tags and uh android has their own versions there's a whole bunch of different ones out there guys they work great for what they were developed for. Air tags were really, and these other tile and these other trackers were developed to put into something that you're gonna have like your keys your wallet, or your wallet. Yeah. The, how they work, there's no cellular connection in there. They have Bluetooth and they will connect to a device and let you know that way. The problem is, is that if you are not near a device, is there's no way for that to work. Mm -hmm. The second problem is, especially I'll, I'll comment on the air tags is that Air tags, if you're not the, the paired phone, say like a Steve goes in and their phone is picking up that air tag, it's gonna let them know, hey, there's an air tag here. Mm -hmm. It is cheap, but it's it's not ideal. If you want to use good equipment, and you have an RV, you paid a lot of money, you wanna use a GPS tracker. Very familiar with GPS trackers. I use them at work a lot. This is called the Wear Safe. This is, we choose, Wear. chose a Wear Safe mm -hmm. GPS tracker for a couple of reasons. Very well known company out in Canada. You're able to live track and it communicates with you so I'm not dialing into it it's con it's both ways I can go in and see where this tracker is but I can set up certain parameters for example when we go to service there's a couple service centers we go to they have geofencing around them that I've set up so I know when I enter that area I know if that RV is leaving that area at a certain time geek alert it's not supposed to be leaving that area. <laughs> we have a geofence set up at home. So if we are out somewhere and it's like, wait a second, this the RV just broke the geofence at home, uh, mm -hmm. something's wrong. So right. very important guys, these are super inexpensive. The service I think is 12 bucks a month for the service, but that gives you 
all of those options. Plus, mm -hmm. you can get into one of these for less than 200 bucks total. This is actually an older version, but it has the extended battery. This lasts a long time. Hide them somewhere. I cannot mm -hmm. emphasize yeah, how important these are. We have a discount code, Endless10. We'll get you 10% off. We'll put where it saves info down below. The next thing we would like to show, now we've done a couple of firearms videos and people say, oh, there's a way to store it. There's a way to store it. Now, I'm kind of weird about that. I, my take is on it, a firearm should be on your body or somewhere near you. So if you're not in your RV, your firearm should be with you at, at some point. Now, is that always ideal? No. And there are other valuables that you do want to get out of the reach of, of people. What is really important is that if you have a firearm and you're around children, you want to secure it somehow. Simple way to do that, guys. And this, listen, guys, this is not the, the best thing out there, but it's relatively inexpensive. This is just a lock box. This is specifically from SnapSafe. Now, they have all different types of ones out there. I like this one because it has a three button combination, three number combination, it has a foam inside. You can easily fit a firearm in here. You can fit a wallet, vi valuables. You can put this in your car somewhere. Why I like this is a couple of ways it can secure it. The least secure way is going to be with the cable lock, All right? So you put this in here, you wrap this cable around something that's not movable. Do I suggest that for super valuable items? No, because this can easily be defeated. Again, anything can be defeated. We can continue going up the amount of security of lockers. But what I do like about this is that over here, you can see there's mounting holes, right? So you can mount this to somewhere, bolt it down, screw it down. It definitely makes it a little bit more secure. Can you get this open? Yeah, you can get anything open if you have time. And if you want to spend more money, you can get more secure things. But this is a quick solution, guys. It's small. It's about 50 bucks on Amazon. We'll put the link down below. The last one, guys, and there's many different ones that we can do, but we want to keep this concise. So we're not towing this week. We have MJ's car because we're not that far from home, but we do tow a lot. And we tow our little black Mustang, Millie the Mustang. So we don't have our actual hitch on here. But one thing you see, you know, when we put our drop hitch and then we hook up our tow bar is the pin that goes secured in here. We would suggest getting a lockable pin. Now, again, because I mean, people always have to put, oh, I can defeat that. Yeah, you can. This is just, it reduces the chance. It gives a little bit of a bump for people not to steal these things. You can get all different types of of, uh, lock pins. This is your traditional pin, which is like the cotter pin, and you will put it through, and then you see it just goes locked in that way, right? This this is the pin that holds everything together. This is also the pin that you will remove to take everything out. So if I want to steal a $1,500 tow bar, I can just go pull this thing out. Now, with the locking pin, when you put it through, there's actually a locking mechanism on the end with the key. So you can't get it out. It just makes it more difficult. And kind of working in this situation here with a lot, you're gonna make a lot of noise. You're gonna draw attention to yourself. It's well worth spending 20, 30, $40, $40 on a pin to secure something that's gonna cost you several thousand dollars. In the comments below, let us know which of these security upgrades and methods do you use? Have you used, have you used any of them and they haven't really worked for you? What else do you use that we haven't mentioned so you can share with others? If you like videos like this, to the left of us, we'll put our RV security playlist. We'll put our RV newbies playlist. And for myself and MJ, it's a journey of a lifetime. And we'll see, see you, you on, on the road. road.